Hello everyone, so today we have second part of our build report and as you can see we have turret ready for priming and all parts are in place I would say it's the same style as uh, what we saw on the hull assembly so all parts can be dry fitted and you won't need any glue with them but be careful with some of those because there is a quite tight fitment and you have to be really really tender with them because otherwise you might break them as for example it happened with this handle here you can see it I will try to focus on it so here you can see it I don't know why fitment is not that good when you insert this part here as you can see it's not entire insert but it was too late but I cut the legs on this one and as you can see it's sitting flush here uh, then another interesting thing is that main barrel should be assembled out of two house and it's also movable of course there are no metal barrels included it's just a child kit but still it is nice to see such uh, let's say parts division uh, hatch is designed to be openable I want to open it because it's quite uh, I would say really slim and really easy to break structure so I wouldn't open it here you can see that this uh, machine gun turret is easily movable and it will be up to you if you would like to fix it in the place just drop the glue inside and it will be standing right in the spot uh, rear doors are pre-molded as you remember so you won't be able to open them on your tank but handles are molded separately so you get a chance to replace them with metal wire I mean it will be up to you if you would like to use standard parts or you would like to use uh, metal wire replacement why I'm mentioning this because here you can see that some parts are designed as bent after use and some others might not like this appearance because it is repeating on both sides so it's not that realistic I would say so the next stage as I said will be priming as you can see there are no figurines included so now nobody will be standing in this hatch there is no commander but still it will be nice to weather this nice turret especially apply some rust on these handles so we would play a bit with this nice kit so I will see in the next video report as usual bye